It's New Year's here yeah? and everywhere else. And what does that mean? It means you've overslept and you've missed Christmas. No, no, what it means is that it's the 31st of December. And shortly the fair year of 2011 will be leaving us to reign in the wonderful year of 2012 upon the stroke of midnight. And nobody's invited me to any parties. So I have decided to spend my evening here with you, our loyal viewers. So, what has 2011 been? Well, it's been not a lot, really. And by not a lot, I mean it's been a year of shortages. Shortage of food in third world in Africa, a shortage of money in the global economy, in the Eurozone, and a sudden shortage of evil and despotic dictators. So, like any good person, I've been trying to do my best to help the situation. Desired position leader of Libya, would you say you were a good people person with a strong code of ethics? No? As you can see, I am already getting into the spirit of the season. I believe this one is Southern Cuthbert. I do hope that you will join me in a drink. Oh yes, you're on the internet. Never mind, more for me. And of course, with the coming of the birds of January, comes the January sales. Or at least, the January sales that didn't start on Boxing Day. Or the day after Boxing Day. Or the January sales that there is technically all year long sales in sofa shops. A chance for you to brave crowds of thousands in your local shopping centre to take back all the gifts you never wanted in the first place. Speaking of gifts, what did you get for Christmas? Here's what I got. Oh, that's tart. Eight pairs of gloves or socks. A pair of dig dastardly and cuffly mufflings. The complete achieves the muster. And Winnie the Pooh. This very spiffy hat. That was the wrong hat, and this worryingly large array of deodorants, body washes, and bath salts. I get the feeling my family is trying to tell me something. I do not want to be a soap salesman! <laughs> do forgive me, I am just having a slow, comfortable screw. I don't actually know what goes in a slow, comfortable screw, so I'm just adding a bit of everything. So now that material possessions are out of the way, we are left with the second most important part of the festive season. New Year's Revolutions. My first New Year's Revolution is to cut out all the chocolate. Do you like these? I drew those. New Year's Resolution number two is to spend my time more constructive. I don't even like wine. New Year's Revolution number three. Find better ways to kill time. Nobody likes Bombay mix. New Year's Revolution number four. Learn to play the trumpet. Or the saxophone. My blue. My favourite. My fifth and final New Year's of Revolution. Quit smoking. <coughs> <coughs> and I hope you have put as much careful thought into your New Year's resolutions as I have. So no matter what your belief, be it that we're all going to die at the end of 2012, or that we're all going to die anyway, what bloody difference does it make, we're all buggered. That time draws ever nearer. As the clock, the great big men begins to strike, and we all join our hands, ready to sing. It's 3am. Fuck. <laughs>